Hi guys, welcome to the channel. Here it is, Honda Hornet 2023. So the latest model. Uh, this model was really a kind of a revolution when it was announced because uh, for the first time Honda introduced a two-cylinder engine on this one. I have to say that the rear it's a bit different in terms of tires now it has 160 previously the previous model had 180 the seat it's not too high it is uh, 795 millimeters and this means that it's also appropriate for shorter riders so Honda Hornet 2023 a twin a parallel twin engine with uh, 92 horsepower and uh, with uh, the peak torque coming at uh, 7250 revs so this is very very low in comparison to the older model uh, the older model was a uh, four cylinder as you probably know and uh, this comes in uh, four different colors and uh, we can see that uh, it feels uh, very modern but uh, the line it's uh, let's say uh, from the 500 naked model from Honda so it's not completely new in this regard it has three riding modes it has wheelie control it has also a TFT display ABS it's standard as we all know and uh, let's see how it's gonna feel on the road it is a bit raining guys but uh, the bike it's in the rain mode right now and uh, I think that it's gonna be okay the initial thoughts about the sitting position guys the foot pegs are a bit high but uh, still okay for me I am 185 centimeters tall or the six foot one and uh, this is a naked bike uh, the seat the seat it's quite soft uh, I have to say this is a brand new bike and uh, just after some sitting uh, on the bike and riding it I can say that uh, it feels soft so this is a good thing the suspension it's Showa and uh, it's not adjustable but uh, it seems to be okay so not too soft uh, by any means I really hope that the weather will be uh, let's say just like this uh, that we uh, are not gonna experience a lot of rain so till now I think it's okay otherwise uh, they said that they are gonna uh, uh, let's say stop the test ride today so now I am in the rain mode I will try also the standard and sport if I will have the opportunity so the throttle guys it's uh, quite responsive uh, I wouldn't say jerky the suspension feels uh, very uh, appropriate for such a bike it is not too soft it is not uh, too hard the thing that uh, it's a big plus it's uh, the weight of the bike so this bike it's uh, uh, under 200 kilos and uh, it feels very very nimble and uh, the handlebar it's uh, on the right location your hands are uh, not too close together and you have a feel that uh, you are in control and uh, this is something that uh, a naked bike should have and uh, this Hornet uh, has it so uh, a very cool thing so let's change the riding modes to the sport yeah now I am in sport okay let's go first in the standard yeah now it's in standard yeah it has the pull it has the pull guys it quickly gets to speeds so uh, this is a 
parallel twin guys you don't need to rev it so much it goes from the start i have to say it it goes from the start so uh, from 4000 revs four and a half it picks really really nicely the gearbox feels slick and uh, precise i cannot say a lot about the brakes because uh, this is just a new bike but uh, the initial feel on the lever uh, it's uh, a very very good one so the brakes are powerful i have to say the sound it's uh, similar to the suzuki sv650 but that one was a v2 uh, engine so uh, even though this is a parallel twin uh, it sounds just right i have to say it so uh, about the dash the dash uh, it's uh, very clear and uh, i think that uh, uh, honda did a great job here uh, because uh, the numbers and uh, everything it's uh, uh, big enough to see it easily even though this bike has ride by wire it's without the cruise control but uh, this uh, is uh, normal for naked bikes uh, you don't need cruise control on such a bike this is a fun bike i have to say let's put it in sport mode Port. Yeah, yeah, it goes, man, it goes. You can quickly reach 100, very quickly. And that rumble, guys, that rumble, it's a very, very nice one of this parallel twin. So, uh, 92 horsepower uh, these horses are just right for this motorcycle so uh, i am not gonna ask for more the feel on the throttle in uh, all modes it's different so from rain to standard and then to sport uh, you can feel it uh, this is a good thing so uh, it is also a very cool thing that this one has a uh, wheelie control i think that uh, nowadays this is something that uh, it's uh, a must on uh, such fun bikes uh, even though this is not a very powerful bike this uh, 92 horsepower uh, are very very uh, refined on this one and um, the power delivery it's okay uh, maybe i am not uh, let's say uh, uh, very satisfied with the throttle but uh, this is something that I uh, would get used to it if this uh, would be my bike I think the mirrors are nice um, I cannot see everything but uh, this is the case with most bikes uh, because uh, I have a very uh, large body okay we are in sport Yeah, yeah. From 4000 and on. Yeah, it has a pick. It has a nice pick, guys. Yeah, yeah, very, very, very uh, refined engine. And um, I have to say that uh, uh, I don't feel any vibes at least till 6000 uh, revs uh, the vibes uh, weren't present so uh, this is also a good thing the fuel consumption on this one should be around uh, four liters maybe four liters and half uh, but it depends from the rider to rider and uh, from the style of riding so uh, i'm not gonna discuss this uh, this time the turn indicator 
buttons are on the right place and uh, everything seems to be uh, on the right place I mean also the menu of uh, the uh, mode uh, horn uh, and uh, this is a little bit uh, tricky this is a joystick you can see you go to the right and uh, here you can see different uh, data so total mileage uh, average consumption uh, date maybe this line it's a bit small the letters are a bit small but uh, nothing that would bother me the turning circle it's uh, surprisingly good I think so what are my final thoughts guys this is a first impression video about the new Hornet uh, I think that uh, this 750 uh, even though that it's not a four-cylinder it's a great bike guys so uh, if you are looking for a naked bike if you are looking for a I would say budget bike but this one it's uh, not a budget one because it feels very well put together this is a great option for you you should look closely to this model and go to test ride it so I think that in this price range you cannot go um, and uh, find uh, any other bike that uh, would be better in these terms so uh, it is uh, a great thing to try it so uh, guys those of you who are interested in uh, naked bikes uh, try this one this is just something uh, that uh, you should try so very Honda quality and uh, it rides really uh, nicely so guys this was all this was my first impression ride uh, and uh, it's raining as you see uh, I completed it thanks for watching and please do me a favor and subscribe and uh, till the next one guys Thank you.